Hi everybody, it's Karen from Scrappy Connect Studios and I'm here today to share with you a little tutorial on creating these really cute little gift boxes from DCWV. Now I created these with a new stack from the, it's called Christmas and Winter and it's a gift box stack. So when I flip through here what you're going to see is that they're already pre-scored and pre-punched. So these are incredibly easy to actually put together. Uh, there's multiple patterns and multiple copies of each of the patterns. So I'll show you how easily they come together. So let's talk about the materials you'll need for this project. So besides your gift box stack, you're going to need some ribbon or trim, and I'm going to use some of the chevron tool from Mayards. And you'll need some adhesive, and believe it or not, that's it. But I'm also going to show you how to use some optional things, like this new uh, jeweled um, sheets from DCWV, as well as some optional scissors. And believe it or not, that's all you need. So let's get crafting. Okay. So I've gone ahead and I've taken out one of the sheets from the stack and um, there's some matching tags. So as you do this first part, don't lose those. We're going to keep track of them. The shape is actually perforated all around the edge. Now I have kind of big clumsy fingers. So I find that I tend to rip things that are perforated. So instead, I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm just going to run them along the perforated uh, line that outlines this shape just like this. And again, if you're really good with perforations, you don't need the scissors for this particular step. And you're just going to continue all the way around the shape just like this. So I've actually pre-cut one of them. And you're going to see now that there are some fold lines that um, need to be done as well. So the score lines around each of these scalloped edges. And you just take your fingers and just fold them up just like this. Now, if you have a bone folder, that's great. But I actually find you don't need a bone folder for this particular fold doesn't need to be that tight and then we're also going to go around this base edge there are four fold lines here as well so we'll fold this one up and this one now the next thing you're going to have to do is decide which side you want to use so these this stack is double-sided I think I'm going to use the green side for this project and then basically the gift box just folds up like this isn't that cute so these scalloped edges end up coming together now you could also decide to fold the scalloped edges in like this, and you're going to get a little gift box with a different look. So it's going to have a bit of a cleaner edge here, look more like a little pyramid. But I like the detailing of the scalloped edge, so I'm going to leave those pointing outwards just like this on my little gift box. Okay, so I'm going to grab some adhesive and then we'll keep going. Okay, so for the next part, just take some dry adhesive and you're just going to run it along one of the edges of the two that come together and meet. So I'll just show you what I mean here. So I'm just going to run it along this edge and then I'm going to flip it uh, 90 degrees and do the coordinating edge on the other side. Now I'm only going to do three of the edges. I'm going to leave the last one um, without adhesive right now because I want to be able to fill these later. So I want to decorate them up and have them ready to go and be able to fill them when I want to use them. So by leaving this one side open, I'll show you just here in a minute, I'll be able to actually just kind of pop the two scallops like this. And then I can put in some candy or some treats or whatever it is that I want to put in, um, but have it all decorated and ready to go. Okay, last but not least, we're going to add some ribbon. So I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm actually just going to kind of punch. There's a little hole that's punched here at the top. So I'm just going to take my scissors and just poke that hole in. And then I'm going to go on the opposite side and punch that one in as well. Then I'm just going to take my ribbon. This is um, a three and a quarter inch ribbon. I wouldn't go too much wider than this unless it's a really um, thin ribbon. And I'm just going to take my scissors to help me poke the ribbon all the way through to the other side. Just really gently uh, kind of going through here all the way to the other side. Perfect. And then we'll just pull. This is really um, nice, strong paper, so you don't have to worry about ripping it as you pull through. And then I'm just going to put some adhesive along the bottom edge of my little gift box to hold the ribbon in place, just like that. And I'll run it up just to meet the piece that I poked through right here. Give yourself um, some tying space, probably from the top, you know, a good six inches. And then we'll just wrap it and pull the knot right up to the top. So pull it tight and press your knot right up to the top uh, where the ribbon came through and tie a pretty little 
Oh, I always fumble with tying bows, usually the first time. Hey, that actually wasn't too bad. And we'll just kind of pull the ends here and even it out. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim the ends of the ribbon so that they match. Doesn't that look cute? Love that. So we'll just take these and we'll just trim it like that. And we'll trim this one like that. And it's all set to go. So you can use these gift boxes for all sorts of different things. Like I've used some of the jeweled adhesive sheets. They look like this. They're a new product from DCWV and they're awesome to work with. I'm going to use it for a 12 days of Christmas countdown. But I also thought these would make awesome little place settings at your Christmas table. So you can see I just took one of the little coordinating tags. And all I'm going to do is use some adhesive. And we're just going to put it on like this. You could tie it on as well, but this ribbon's a little bit wide for that. But it just goes on like this. And then you could put it on your Christmas table as a little place setting and a little treat for your guests to take home. So I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial on creating these cute little gift boxes from DCWV's Christmas and Winter Gift Box Stack. Make sure you come over and visit us on the DCWV Diary blog for all sorts of great Christmas ideas and Christmas crafts the rest of this December season. Thanks for stopping by.